Virgo, hope you're well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. If this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe. And for more clarity on your situation, check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. And for a totally fresh perspective, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her info in the description box as well. And Virgo, make sure you stay tuned till the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from the universe tying everything together and your animal spirit. All right, so what is going on in your life, Virgo? Who is coming? Who is going? How's your career financial energy, your romantic energy? And should you be looking out for anyone? Let's find out. So first card, ooh, Ten of Swords. So this is a warning sign from the universe telling you that change is needed. Now, this is not something bad because there is no nothing good or bad experiences. This is just a warning sign for the universe telling you that something needs to happen. A chapter needs to close because a chapter is going to open, right? It's a beautiful perspective. Now, look at that. You got the death card. So you got the ten of swords and the death card. So this is definitely the universe telling you that something needs to happen. It might as well happen on your end before they intervene. And this is so important. Look at this, Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. This is so important because sometimes it is easier for us to create the change before the universe does it for us. And I'll give you an example. Someone who may be unhealthy, maybe, maybe have to make a decision in their life, like quit drinking, quit smoking, change their diet, It'd be easier if they did it themselves because if they wait, 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 and the universe has to show them a way, for example, give them contrast like, uh oh, I don't feel so good, then, you know, it might be less pleasurable, it might be more, you know, painful. And that's what's going on here. I see here there's a change you have to make. I see here that you know that there's something you have to change in your life. This could be physical, spiritual, or this could be something that is more mental. You might be right now you're worrying too much. Maybe right now you're, you're eating foods that aren't making you feel good. You feel as if this change is going to help, you know, bring a lot of new energy into your life. And the only reason you haven't done so is because you're worried about the outcome. You're, you're thinking of, oh my goodness, if this doesn't go well, you know, I'm going to, you know, not be happy. For example, I want to start a business, but I know if I, if it doesn't go so well, I'm going to lose money. So I'm scared to, you know, create this change. Your angels and guides are telling you that they're bringing energy, people, and opportunity that are in harmony with you, and they're going to network and collaborate and help you on this change. So this is a beautiful energy. For example, you want to get fit, you're going to go to the gym, meet someone, and then you're going to have a group of friends to exercise with. You want to start a business, someone is going to run into you and be like, oh my goodness, I'm you know, thinking of doing the same thing. We should collaborate, or I've already been doing this. Let me mentor and guide you. This is the perspective you need to have. Don't think of it from the perspective of what can go wrong, but what can go right. I do see here with that three of cups and the three of wands that you've been waiting for someone to guide you and help you. And right now, this energy is about to manifest in your life. So if you've been waiting for someone to enter your life and mentor you or guide you, you can expect this to happen rather than sooner than later. And I see here that the more that you are matching your energy to the frequency, which really means your emotions to your expectations, the sooner this will happen. So rather than tell yourself, I am hopeless, tell yourself, why would someone not want to mentor or guide me? I am so coachable. I am so lovable. I am a solution finder. I am someone who is optimistic. I'm always looking at it from the glass half full perspective. Law of attraction, let the universe know. Throw a boomerang of energy, it will come back around. I do see here that your angels and guides are telling you to tap into more of your mystical, spiritual, and quantum energy, and then it will happen much, much sooner rather than later. So rather than wait in the third dimensional energy of time, which takes forever, tap into the fifth and seventh dimension where you came from and really press fast forward on the movie of life. So for example, if you've been waiting to start a business, rather than wait, wait, wait for something to happen, visualize what you're looking for, clear and concise image, feel it, right? Elevated emotion, brain and heart coherence, and then it will happen. So for example, visualize it and then feel, wow, feel so good to have it. I can see me running into this person at the grocery store, having a conversation about nothing and then them, ask, them asking me, what do I do? And me telling them, oh, I'm about to start a business. Them telling me I'm in the same business. What are the odds? And then us collaborating and networking. But you need to have a vision, a story of the future or you're left with the memory of the past. Now you have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands letting you know that movement, when you get this inspired action, you have to take the leap of faith. 
execution trumps knowledge, right? So to know something is great, but unless you execute a will greater than the programming, it's pointless. So for example, you ever watch Sharks Tank? You ever watch all the sharks? What do they talk about? They always say that it's great to have an idea, but they're investing in the entrepreneur, not the idea. So for example, imagine you have an idea that's going to get you rich and it's going to change the world. But unless you put that idea into action, it is useless. It's just nothing more than just, you know, really just words, right? Your thoughts. All right now, your angels and guides are telling you that there is this energy within you right now that you really, you have this passion, this charisma that you want to change your life and the life of your friends and family. I see here that you're looking to monetize a passion, do something you love and really embrace the idea of uh, certainty in your life, right? You want to know what you're looking for. This energy comes when you have a will greater than the programming. So for example, us humans, we have 60 to 70,000 thoughts a day and 98% of those thoughts are the same thoughts as yesterday. So the chances of you waking up, same time, eating the same, similar breakfast, going to a job, coming home, watching the similar shows and going to sleep but expecting change are really up there. So what do you have to do? You have to slip in there something different. So for example, on your lunch break, type in how to make passive income and then find a side hustle that you can start that is easier. Like for example, I did an Amazon FBA business, right? I typed in how to make passive income and all of a sudden I saw Amazon FBA. I kept my job. I did that on the side and then 12 brands later, here we are, quit my job. So we've been doing this for the last 13 years. It's never too late to start. But I do see here, that unless you create that will greater than the programming, then you're going to be doing the same old, same old, expecting a different result. And right now, if you want to create change, you have to get out of your environment and your setting and get yourself grounded and start flowing again. So for me, I noticed that whenever I am doing this exact same thing as yesterday, for example, I don't feel good. But when I am learning, when I'm creating, if I'm 1% pro better than I was yesterday, that's 365% progress in a year. And I do see here that you will get the downloads and clarities by doing so. So what does this really mean? 1% progress a day is 365% progress in a year. That's 37X, okay? That is crazy. That's as good as it gets. 1% progress is looking, listening to one audio book, right? Not the whole thing, just, just a couple like minutes, whatever. It's, it's looking up an affirmation. It's exercising. It's anything. Anything that is going to make you feel better than who you were yesterday. And by instilling a will greater than the programming, it will get effortless. All right, Virgo, so I am going to pull your animal spirit now. What is your animal spirit? And your animal spirit, look at that, know your worth. It is skunk spirit, know your worth. And that's what it comes down to. You are someone who, again, I can quantum entangle with your energy. I can feel you from here, right? You are someone who is a hard worker, dedicated. You have charisma, passion. You have this, this, this poise within you that's waiting to come out, very graceful. But if I can feel this about you, you have to be able to feel this about you. You have to know what you bring to the table, right? And you have a beautiful seat at the table, but know that you've earned this. Know that you are a good person and know that you have a lot of good karma to match this energy. All right, so I'm gonna get a final message for you now from the universe, Virgo. Final message for Virgo. And the message is celebrate your differences. Look at that. And this is number three. And the message is, you understand that everything in life comes with an opposite. Even within yourself, you have polarity, male and female, high and low, good and bad, light and dark. It is our differences that make us unique. We all come from the same collective and the same inner light within. What does this really mean? Understand that you are beautiful, almighty, and powerful. Right now, the differences within you is what sets you apart. So for example, if you have you know, blue hair, don't be telling yourself, oh, people aren't gonna love me. You are a walking piece of art that should put you in a museum. Thank you so much for raising my vibration when I take a look at you and I'm like, wow, look at this person. Look how beautiful they are. So for example, whatever's happening on the outside, how you got your nails, how you got your hair, how you got your superficial looks, it is nothing more than beauty, it is art. Now the exact same thing within. If you laugh a certain way, if you think a certain way, there's nothing wrong with that. That is beautiful. You are unique. You are more rare than a Picasso painting. You are one in a quadrillion, right? Picasso paintings, how many are there? At least 10, right? You are, you are one in a trillion, one in a quadrillion 
know your worth, know what you bring to the table, know that you're beautiful, celebrate your differences, and understand that the world, you are a gift to this universe, you are a gift to this world, you are part of the divine spark. Embrace that and welcome that. All right, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Till next time, honor your soul.